and one sanded, here's the compensated model. All right, good morning off the reservation. Now, last month when the new Springfield Armory XDM OSP came out, I was very excited about it for a number of reasons. We did a full review on it, and I hope you guys, uh, you know, that, that we're in the market for a suppressor gun, picked one up. But the suppressor was not the only reason that I really liked the OSP all right, with its new two barrel kit. It comes with a threaded barrel, so it's obviously suppressor ready. But the bigger deal to me with this threaded barrel was the fact that I could also put a compensator on there if I wanted to. Now, I didn't have a compensator on hand when this first came out, but I reached out to my boys over at Springer Precision Arms, and they sent me one of theirs just this week. Now, Springer Precision is pretty much your one-stop shop for aftermarket XDM parts. Those guys make absolutely fantastic parts, and they've been a huge supporter of the XDM family pretty much since XDMs came out. Now, the other funny thing about Springer Precision is if you're buying race parts like this elsewhere, you're probably actually buying a Springer Precision part. They build all their parts in-house and typically they are absolutely fantastic. So a compensator is basically like a muzzle brake for your pistol. Now, could you just port one of your barrels? Yeah, you could. All right, but that's kind of a permanent solution. Also, I found the thread on compensator work a lot better. Uh, the other nice thing, it's removable. So if I want to go back and forth between this compensator and a suppressor, I've got the ability to do so. And the compensator is super easy. Just threads right on. Voila. So I'll put this in the gun here in just a moment. Now, one quick thing about the uh, compensator we're gonna use today. The manufacturer actually recommends that you put this on with blue Loctite. Obviously, I'm already at the range, so my blue Loctite is not gonna have time to set up, but it may in fact rotate on us a little bit today. Uh, with the blue Loctite, that absolutely won't happen. Now, the other reason I really wanted to shoot this compensator video today is kind of a standalone is, I don't think people really understand the benefit of a compensator and it's something that's, that's difficult to understand unless you've seen it side by side or shot it side by side. So fortunately for me and for you in this case, I have the new version and the old version of the OSP on loan. So we can actually do a real, no kidding, apples to apples comparison. So we're gonna have a little shoot off today between non-compensated model red dot gun and a compensated, mo compensated model red dot gun. Really when you get down to it, a compensator and a red dot in many ways, I mean, that is the future. Now, there are a couple of disadvantages of compensator. We'll talk about those later. But for now, let's get loaded up and let's do the shooting piece first. Now, our ammo sponsor today is Hornady, who sent us a whole bunch of this American Gunner line, which is the 115 grain XTP. A thing I like most about this Hornady ammo, this stuff has proven to be remarkably accurate. So anything outside of the A's only mics, on me today. But, all right, I'm gonna get some magazines loaded up and we'll get to work. All right, first things first. Now, the XDM does a really good job of mitigating recoil, and especially in this 9mm caliber, we're not gonna see a huge difference. But one-handed, here's the non-compensated model. And one-handed, here's the compensated model. All right, so you can see right there just with how little the gun moves, all right, this does make a huge difference. So let's put it on the pro timer and see how much of a difference that really does make across a multi-target array. All right, starting with the non-compensated version first. All right, 2.46, let's run that again. All right, 2.20. And switching over to our compensated gun. Wow. 1.81. I didn't really feel like I was going that fast. Let's try that again. Pushing the compensator as hard as we can. Wow. 1.65. So already we're talking about six tenths of a second savings on a three target array, which is just pretty insane. I mean, the way this gun just stays flat with this compensator added. is unreal. Pretty much makes shooting a nine millimeter gun feel like shooting a 22. So there are absolutely huge benefits to running these compensated guns, all right, for any kind of tactical purpose. Well, let me rephrase that, for most types of tactical purposes, all right? Also, if you've got new shooters that are recoil sensitive, all right, this is actually gonna help quite a bit with that. Now, it does make the gun louder, which presents its own problem. For instance, you don't necessarily wanna cook this thing off inside of a car, all right? That's kind of the confined space, kind of the one place, whereas a tactical gun, this would, uh, this would not feel great. All right, it's a little different if you got on, 
you know, plugs and muffs. All right, but if you're talking about your street carry gun, all right, maybe not such a good idea. And there is one other place that a compensator is not such a fabulous idea. Okay, you know, especially as a soldier or a concealed carry citizen, might you have to shoot from retention? Yeah, absolutely. And what I mean by shoot from retention is when I need to use my gun, I could be at such a range that I end up having to shoulder somebody off, all right, and shoot from down here. Now, with a normal gun, this is not going to be a problem. In fact, we're going to use my simulated forearm here over the end of the muzzle. And as you can see, even laying this right across the top of the gun here. All right, I got a little bit of muzzle blast, all right, but it's nothing that's really going to hurt. I'm not going to get burned, and I'm sure, certainly not going to catch any pieces of frag. Now, with the compensator model, this is a much worse idea. Let's check this out. All right, there's about the same distance. Holy shit. There we go, that's about the same distance. Wow, that is definitely not fun. All right, so, you know, in terms of a street fight, shooting from retention, compensator is not your friend. Now, another thing that compensators can do, and I've seen compensated barrels do as well, all right, sometimes they'll actually shear a little bit of jacket off, all right, and that'll actually fly up, and that could actually injure you. <clears throat> so, pretty much for those two places and those two places alone, compensator not such a fabulous idea. For everything else, this is absolutely a piece of kit that you want in your arsenal. I mean, the difference between this little Springer Precision Compensator and just a normal gun is an absolute night and day difference. So if you bought the new OSP kit and or you've got the XDM Threaded Barrel Kit, all right, in addition to your suppressor, compensator is a fabulous thing to have. All right, nice thing about this too, you know, there's no tax stamp for it. You can take it across state lines. You can use it pretty much anywhere, anytime. Compensator is going to set you back about 80 bucks. And again, that's from our friends over at Springer Precision. They support the XDMs. You should support them.